Well done, Mum and Dad. Um, congratulations. Oh, thank you. It's always when you're zoomed in, isn't it? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So here we are in our Let's Build Edinburgh Zoo series and I've managed to squeeze in an extra habitat. So you can see there, this is not a penguin habitat and it is not a mansion house either. So this is kind of in between takes and later on you'll see what I've been working on. Here we go, this is our next habitat which is for the Chinese Goral. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what we're saying it is. We've decided to put, I say we, it's only me building this game. Um, I've I've put in the Dal sheep in place of the Goral, just because it's a small goat. Well, to me, it looks like a small goat. So instead, I thought the closest thing to that would be the Dal sheep. So here you can see we've got two. We've got a female here and yeah, she's she's been in the, the wars a bit. She's got a few scrapes on her, but we will be looking after you. So don't you worry, love, you just sit down and chill out. And we've also got a male who is up at the top. Here he is. Again, just having a little, little snooze, a uh, little lie down. And yeah, this is their habitat. So it's absolutely massive, as you can see. They've got some water in here. I'm not entirely sure if they'll use it. I mean, do sheep swim? I assume they do. Then down here is a little bed in the area. So I'm gonna to have to work with the drain tool to try and get that all fixed. And then there's quite a rocky kind of river that goes through the habitat as well. So there'll be lots of rocks, uh, lots of foliage, and just to make it as rocky and realistic as possible. And up the top here, there'll be a kind of a hut for them to lie in. It's it's nothing really fancy, to be honest. Um, I think the terrain on this one and the foliage is really what's going to bring it to life. So yeah, that is going to be our habitat for the goral slash dal sheep going to be working on this one behind the scenes. I'm also introducing this almost like electric wiring around the habitat. It's probably unnecessary. I can't imagine this animal being able to escape. Or maybe it's just for the safety of the animal so guests can't jump in and try and steal a goral slash dal sheep. But anyway, okay, we you were pregnant. Okay, didn't expect that. Like I say, this game just absolutely amazes me with the amount of stuff that goes on in the background without you even realising. So yeah, we now have three. Uh, we have a baby girl, so welcome, little one. Um, yeah, just really didn't expect that. Were they getting busy when I was chatting? I have no idea. Um, no idea where you came from. Well done, Mum and Dad. Um, congratulations. Oh, thank you. It's always when you're zoomed in, isn't it? That's, uh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we have our three dal sheep in our habitat and we're going to get straight on to building, well, making this habitat less flat and rubbish um, and put you on some contraception here. Don't want any more babies. Um, in fact, actually, let's put you on to contraception because if that is your child, that is extremely wrong. So yeah, happy, happy days. We don't want what happened with the red pandas and I'll come back and there'll be like 70 of them. So we're gonna get straight on to building in this habitat. So I do apologise that there's no speed build in this part. So the main reason is sometimes in life you just simply forget to press record. So let's get back into the habitat and see what's going on. I've just been on Edinburgh Zoo's website and discovered that the male is on his own in this habitat. So he is riding solo. His name is actually Dan Ling. So we're going to change that. Here we go. 
Um, and yeah, he's he's on his own. So do we get rid of his little friend? I mean, come on, look at that. They are having a little cuddle there. Is that mummy or, or um, I mean, you're 28 years old. So you are, you're not mummy. Yeah. See, he's having a little cuddle there with his daughter. So I know I'm trying to make this zoo as close to Edinburgh Zoo as I possibly can. Um, but I've decided he's going to have his family in there. And who knows, maybe in the future that in Edinburgh Zoo, the um, Goral will have a wife and daughter. So we're going to keep you. So it's that time that you guys have all been waiting for. It is Animal Fun Facts. What will we learn this week? So let's learn about the Chinese Goral. This one in particular, he is part of the European Stud Book Programme. So he's going to have a family at one point. He's just maybe not necessarily right now. So the Chinese Goral can be found much of southern, southeastern and central China. They live in steep areas and plateaus in mountainous areas, which is quite fitting because... Oh, are they all having a little munch now? Check that out. Yeah, that pretty fast, isn't they? Yeah, so it's quite fitting that their uh, habitat is pretty rocky. So they've got all these like little peaks and stuff to go and, uh, and run about and play with. So that's pretty perfect. Um, they live in herds of between 2 to 12 individuals. The female Goral gives birth after 7 months. Newborn Gorals are able to stand within an hour of their birth and by second day can follow their mother through the steep and rocky terrain. The lifespan of a Chinese Goral is approximately 10 years. So, you are doing fantastic! 28 years! Although, I don't think they can die um, in my game settings. 37, 37, yeah. You guys are way past your prime. The major threat to Chinese Goral is hunting. They are killed for their meat and for and also for medicine. Gorals have excellent eyesight which help them to detect danger or predators. So there we have it. That is our Goral facts. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Oh, this one's, this one's taken up. Oh man. Every time, every time, I was like, oh look, Darlin, who we've just renamed, Danling, Dar I want to call him Darlin, alright Darlin, is doing a little bit of a workout, check me out guys, got myself a dumbbell, it's not a dumbbell, what is it, it's a kettlebell, ah, I should know these things, my husband goes to the gym, and I do have a kettlebell, is it a kettlebell? A grab ball. Yeah. Just looks like a kettlebell to me. So, this is our doll sheep in our rocky terrain. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look at our doll sheep. It's the first time I've actually put them in the game. It's one of those animals that, I mean, I might be completely wrong here, but you've got your big ticket animals like, um, your tigers and your elephants um, and you kind of get your kind of lower tier animals and to me they in my head they're in my lower tier animals it's not something I think guests get that excited about I might be totally wrong though let's let's grab a guess you with your really camouflage t-shirt let's see what you think of them You've seen bigger and better zoos. Well, love, come back in six months' time. I want someone who looks like they're really going to love a doll sheep. You, on your own. Yeah, you're getting right into that information, love. Courtney, what are you thinking? I'd give the view of the ad park three stars at most. Ah. You're loving it, though. Look, your hand's 
through the barrier. You must think something. You, you can't just be standing there. Uh, my time at the flamingo habitat was okay. That well, look, I just literally clicked on that again. I had a great time viewing the advark habitat. Did you just say two minutes ago that it was rubbish? I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, Courtney. Playing with my emotions, love. Um, right, someone's got to say this view is absolutely fantastic. You were getting hyped up, weren't you? It was one of yous. You need the toilet? You, you okay? Let's, what are you thinking? Janet. There's rubbish everywhere. It looks like the Dao Shi needs fewer plants. Probably correct. Where's the drinks at? Okay, everyone's just kids. Kids. You. You're gonna have to love it. Viewing Dao Sheep. Here we go. Cool. Toilet block 12 is free. Yummy drinks. This place looks so cool. I want you. You have to be. You're taking a... You have an excellent shirt, sir. Um, I, I must follow you now. I must follow you. I need to click on you. Um, where is he? First person. No, Orbit. Oh, there's too many people around him. That is a fantastic shirt. It's got flamingos on it. Well done, sir. You have a lovely family. I approve. Um, right, what are you thinking? No one cares about the Dal Sheep. What is going on? Right, Gemma, give up. Nobody loves it as much as you do. Actually, that's that might just be my my theory said right there. That they're not that fussed about the Dal Sheep. Um, this barrier needs fixed. Guess thoughts. Ah, oh, look at that magnificent Dal Sheep. There we go. Um, right. It's mixed reviews, isn't it? Can't please everyone. Okay, what was I doing? Call mechanic. Excellente. Okay, guys. So, that is our Dal Sheep. Um, and let's continue the tour of Edinburgh Zoo. So, over here, up here even, um, this is just a, a, a lovely kind of garden area. Back here... It's got this little picnic area as well, which is pretty smart. I'll put a picture up on screen of what that looks like. There we go. So, these benches, I really wanted to get some of the in-game benches in here. But none of them looked like what they do in Edinburgh Zoo and I just thought I'll custom make them. So guests can't actually use these um, and nobody co comes up here either. But it's, quite, it's just quite a nice area that if you were at the jungle food court um, and you wanted somewhere to sit and chill and you maybe had a, a picnic, then it's quite a nice spot to, to have your lunch at. Um, around here is absolute rubbish. Look at all that! Jeez, oh! Um, I went away and put in here. So under this, let's just move you out of the way. There's bins. And they're clearly overflowing. Is there bins inside? Yeah, they're overflowing as well. Man, what are the... What I want to call janitors. What are they doing? Let's have a look. Oh, Gemma. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now. We only have two. Oh, that's terrible. Um, yeah, that's not good, is it? We need more caretakers, so let's get a couple of yous in. Let's put you some some yous inside as well. And get these bins cleaned. Oh, how much have we got now? Six. Let's go for ten. Uh, because we want a nice park. Is that... I didn't even count how many I put down there. Okay, one more to go. Um, right, let's... Ba, ba, ba. Caretaker, in you go. Right, we've got ten now, so this place should be looking absolutely spotless. I hope so. The jungle food court has been moved. I've now moved it up here. 
which is quite nice because everything is starting to flow again. Um, so I'll give you a little top view. So our map's actually looking pretty good, starting to certainly fill out. Um, and then you see in the background there is the mansion house. And I know last week I asked between the penguin habitat and the mansion house and I only had two votes, so boo me. But thank you to Heidi and Jack. So your votes have been counted, but because it was a tie, I just decided to go for the mansion house because it's kind of flowing off uh, of the map. Jack, I will get the penguin habitat done for you after the mansion build, hopefully. So guys, I think I've waffled on for a fair bit now, so I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And as a side note, I will be doing a YouTube live tonight. So that is Saturday the 4th of July. So if you're free and you'd like to pop on and say hello, I'd really appreciate that. If not, it'll just be me waffling yet again. But until then guys, take care and I'll catch you later.